Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about Scott Disick revealing why ex Courtney's sister is his perfect partner, according to a report that is coming out from the mirror. But guys, is this coming as any surprise to any of you? Definitely not, because for quite some number of years now, we have been talking about the weird behavior between Chloe and Scott Disick. And if you've seen my last video about those two, I did say they are given the sense that they're having guilty SEX. And because it is so good and they're feeling so bad that it's feeling so good, they're, they may be trying to become public with their little thing that they have going on. Do you all remember that video? In case you haven't seen it, please go ahead, check it out. I promise you will not be disappointed, okay? Now, let's talk about it because what the mirror is saying is that Scott Disick teased that Chloe has all the, all the characteristics that he's looking for in a partner while discussing his perfect girl in a clip from the Kardashians. So you're telling me that the mama of your kids, are, she, she, you don't care about her feelings? Like, we know that Courtney has married and moved on. But I mean, there are some things that you keep to yourself, you know, come on. Like, we can see that there's chemistry between you and Coco, right? But it doesn't mean that you need to come on record and say some things out loud. But anyway, anything for the ratings, right? Because we know that they need to pull all the stunts and all the PR moves that they can because their reality show, based on sources, they're saying it's definitely not given as it once used to. Their ratings are pretty down bad. And chances are, you know, there could be a little plot going on because Courtney has married the guy that used to crush on Kim. So chances are this could be a in Courtney's face moment, okay? Because we know that Kim is a snake and Chloe sucks up to Kim. So it could be a little plot to get under Courtney's skin. But let's continue, okay? Now, they're saying that the reality TV star 40 is considered to have a close relationship with Chloe 39, who's the younger sister of his former partner, Kourtney Kardashian. Now, Scott and Kourtney were together for almost a decade and share three children. He's continued to be on good terms with one of his ex's family, including Chloe, and occasionally appears in the family show, The Kardashian. Scott is reportedly set to feature in the scene during week's upcoming episode, right? So, I believe that, as I was saying, this could also be a major PR move because things are really down bad for them as it relates to their Hulu ratings. And if they tease this to the public, it will draw in more audience for them you know, once this particular episode is being aired. So I believe that they're doing a double duty right here. But whether they're double dutying or not, honey, we're going to talk about it because many of us do feel as though something sneaky is going on when it comes to Scott and Chloe, okay? Now, they're saying that the clip begins with Scott being asked if um, he's lonely. He responds, yeah, all the time. I guess I can't live with just having my kids. Chloe and Chris, however, suggest to him that they would both be comfortable in life without partners. Okay, so 
that part I definitely understand because we know that Chloe is saying, you know, all her 40s has been so dirty to her because she has been through through so much, you know, at the age of 40 that she just want the dirty 40s to be done with and she can move on into her 50s. Do you guys remember when Chloe said that? And the internet was like, some of the best things happen to you in your 40s, like your kids, you know? So many people could not understand where she's coming from. And not 40s, sorry, her 30s. My bad, right? No. They're like, returning to the conversation to Scott's live, Chris is heard asking, do you got anywhere to meet anybody? Why are you going out at night? Where are you going at night? He responded by saying he goes to strips the strip club, which prompts Chris to react, no, not strip clubs. You know, that's their favorite line, like, no, not the sausage, no, not this, right? So Chris, sub, sub, who, why am I tripping over my words, right? Chris subsequently asked him if you had the opportunity to meet the perfect girl, what does that mean? Um, look like on paper. Scott then looks towards Chloe and he teases, how oh, tall are you, <laughs> right? Because this is where he's now implying that Coco is his favorite girl. So Chloe was like, how oh, tall are you? She reacts by commenting to this guy, to her mother. Chris is then heard discussing the pair in a confessional with her saying, I think Scott probably has a crush on Chloe. Everyone has a crush on Chloe. If we could just find somebody who comes close, we know what he's looking for. Now, listen, I don't know what these people have planned cooking up, but it smells dirty. It smells nasty. But I definitely have to say, those two, they click so well. I have to be honest, right? Chloe and Scott, they click so well. When you see them on camera, they have this natural chemistry. And I said it, Chloe, gives, Chloe and Scott gives the sense that they have been together for over 40 years. The kids are having their final year in college and they're just best friend lovers and they talk a lot without even saying a word. That's the vibe that they give on camera. And that is not something that you can fake easily. It is. It definitely has to be genuine. And you can genuinely see that Scott is naturally attract to, attracted to Chloe. And it could definitely be because of that nurturing um, you know, quality that she has. Chloe, if she likes you, she really likes you and she will go above and beyond for you. She will make sacrifices for you, you know, like what she has done for her other men, you know, like Lamar and Tristan. So it's going to be really interesting to see what unfolds between Coco and Scott. But I want to hear from you guys. Do you think that they're using the Coco and Scott likeness? and rumors of them being sneaky links as, you know, a PR stunt. Do you think that Chris is capitalizing on this? Because I honestly do believe that they are capitalizing on it for views. But I want to hear what's your take on this, guys. Now, while you're at it, show your girls some love and see you all later. Bye, guys.